Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to construct a parabola using tangent method. And the question goes like this. It says, draw a parabola by tangent method, giving it double ordinate 120 millimeter and abscissa 90 millimeter and also locate the focus and diatrice of the parabola. Is that okay now? Now what you need to understand is ordinate means the vertical axis, right? The y axis. So I will just because of that I will draw a vertical line this way to represent the ordinate in this manner. And I'll draw an horizontal line this way also in this manner you can see that that will be the first thing i'll do so since this is 120 i'm going to take half of it on my meter rule half of 120 which is 60 from 0 to 6 is 60 and i'll place it at this point here and i'll mark 60 to upward and i'll mark 60 downward right so I'll call those two points. The first point here will be A, and the next point here will be what? B. Now, we are now told also that um, the abscissa is what? Is 90 millimeter. Is that the okay key now? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to measure 90 from the base. Since we are told abscissa means along X axis, right? So this is my X axis here. So knowing you fully well that when you talk about tangent method is also constructing your parabola inside what a triangle is that okay now so i'm going to now take this measure the 90 from 0 to 90 right to so that point then i'm going to do what again i would extend it because we are told is double ordinate right so i'm going to extend it another 90 again 0 to be what 90 is 0 and this is another word 90 again here that again so that other point here will now be my point what c then i'm going to join a to what to c is that again i'll join a to c my faint line and i'll also join b to c in my faint line also you can see that now what we'll do next now is if you see another question that will tell you to construct uh, a parabola using ordinates and using tangent method and i will tell you that the, this you see in here if you are standing the um triangle vertically so this will be the word the base right and this will be what the altitude is that okay now now let's proceed. Now the next thing I'll do is to divide here into what? Into 8. How will I accomplish that? Is by drawing a line from here in this manner. Can you see that? Faint line. And you are going to divide that line into as into 8 equal parts. So I have this 0 to this point. This is 1. This is a uh, two this is three this is um four this is five this is six and seven then we have what eight so the next thing i'm do is i'm going to join this last point to the first point here from this last point eight to the point c here can you see that? I'll join it that way. So once I've done that, I'm going to take my meter rule and I'm going to place it either at this point here or I'll place it, either you place it here, because if you place it here, you can't draw your line here. So I'll place it at the other end here. Is that again? So let me make you see what I'm trying to do here. I'll place it at the other end here. To this point here, 
that again so once it is well placed this way i'll start moving it this to this i'll move it again this to this i'll move it again this to this this method what i'm doing here i'm calling it line division i'm dividing the line into equal parts into eight equal parts you can see that now what i'll do here is simple as this so if i'm starting from here if this is my point this is zero here will be one this point will be two this point will be three here is four here is five here is six here is seven then eight right now i want to do the same thing here but i don't want to use this to avoid too much of line so what i will do is i will take my c square i'll place it on my t square this way right and i'll start transferring those points so if i come to point seven this is point seven if i come to point six this is point six come to five this is five come to four there's another point here come to three this is another point here come to two there's another point here come to one this is another point here is that again so since i started from here downward i'll start from here upward so here will be zero here will now be one two three four five six seven then we have what the eight point here c so what i'll do is i'll start drawing corresponding lines what i mean by corresponding lines is one will get to one can you see that Two will get to two. Can you see that? Three will get to three. Four will get to four. Five will get to five. Six will get to six. Seven will get to seven. Then the eight is already there. Now what will I do? Well, you should understand that you see this line here, this point here, point four, right? Will be my what? My vertex. Is that taken now? So what you just do? You take your French curve and you start joining. That is the parabola here, tangent to all those sides here. You can see that. So this point you're seeing here is my what? My vertex. Can you see that? And the question now says we should get the focus of this parabola. So in this case, how can I get the focus? What you just do is you draw a line this way from this point, vertical line. And you take your protractor this is an easy and efficient way to do what i'm telling you to do now take your protractor place it this way ensure it is well placed right this way you can see that then take your compass on this line here put it this way to this point and you transfer it to the other part here so on that point that is where you draw your line to pass through so if i take my line from this point here to pass through that point this point i mean you now have this where the line touches here that will be my what my focus can you see that now for me to get the directories 
is that um, I take my instrument, my compass, I place it here to this point. Can you see that? And I take it to the next point here. So that point there will be, let me call it point G. Right? So on that point, I'll draw a vertical line this way. I'll draw a vertical line this way. The line I'm drawing here, that will be my what? My directory D. Is that the key? You can easily just stick in here too. This way. Can you see that? So this is what we'll call the parabola, the focus, and the directories using tangent method. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.